This presentation video is purely representative and presents the author's understanding of the current recommendations. Endotracheal intubation in a COVID patient should be performed as an elective or planned procedure if possible because of increased patient risk in an emergency. Assess the patient's airway and formulate an airway plan. Multiple attempts increase risk of aerosol contamination. Therefore, anticipate needs to maximize first pass success. Before starting the procedure, check oxygen supply, suction equipment, IV excess and establish heart rate, blood pressure and SpO2 monitoring. Prepare the airway cart which essentially contains a bag valve mask assembly. An HNA filter is inserted between the bag and mask. Oxygen tubing is attached. An appropriate sized oropharyngeal airway, working laryngoscope and a choice of blade, two endotracheal tubes of appropriate size, cuff checked and one with a stellet inserted. 10 ml syringe for cuff inflation, a forceps for clamping the tube, adhesive tape and bandage, Magel's forceps, a transparent sheet to cover the patient's head to limit aerosol spread is desirable. A selection of folded sheets or pillows would be required to optimize positioning for intubation. Induction agent and muscle relaxants required for rapid sequence induction are drawn in syringes. If the patient's hemodynamics do not allow for rapid sequence induction, midazolam, bitorphanol or fentanyl are other options. At least one dose each of adrenaline and atropine should be available. Discard all unused items on drug tray. Decontaminate all the equipment before reuse or disposal. Ventilator should be prepared and checked beforehand. The settings chosen must be set and ventilator be put on the standby mode. The settings can be varied later on depending upon the patient's response and condition. Do not forget to attach the HME filter to the patient's end of the circuit as well as the expiratory limb. Another important thing is to prepare the closed suction system before intubation so that the patient is immediately connected to the ventilator after intubation and unnecessary disconnection avoided. Before starting the procedure, comfort, reassure and optimally position the patient. Draw a transparent sheet over the head to contain aerosol spread. Pre-oxygenate with a tight-fitting face mask and two-handed thinner grip for five minutes to increase the tolerance to apnea during the rapid sequence induction. Rapid sequence induction avoids coughing, bucking and limits aerosol generation and thus is the preferred technique of choice for COVID patients. Considering the patient's hemodynamics, one could choose between propofol, etomidate and ketamine for induction. Succinylcholine remains the muscle relaxant of choice in absence of any contraindications. It is important to wait for 45 seconds to 1 minute for adequate muscle relaxation. Apneic oxygenation or gentle positive pressure ventilation can be continued during this time. Turn off oxygen flows before removing the mask. 
perform a direct laryngoscopy and pass the endotracheal tube under vision. A video laryngoscope would be preferred here if available. Remove the stillet, apply the clamp, inflate the cuff. Applying the clamp would minimize the aerosol spread. Declamp only when the HME and breathing circuit are connected. Resheath the used laryngoscope blade with the outer glove worn by the operator. After confirming tube placement by visible chest rise or ventilator waveform or capnography if available, secure the tube properly to avoid any dislodgements. Use a closed airway suction system and avoid any unnecessary ventilator disconnections. Discard all unused items of the drug tray and decontaminate all the equipment before reuse or disposal.